too open. <laughs> too open. downtown St. Louis. Larry House has a basket early for Creighton. Championship week presented by 7-Up continues in the Missouri Valley. And there's a great follow by Brody Darren. Top two seeds got through. Southern Illinois won the regular season championship with a record of 16-2. Here's Brooks and Kyle Corver deflects that ball over the baseline. Lineup tonight features some outstanding perimeter players like Kyle Korver of Creighton, the league's player of the year, second consecutive year, and Kent Williams averaging 15 a game for SIU. But Jermaine Dearman is a quick load. Dana Altman's done a wonderful job. Seven wins his first year in 95. Now he's got five consecutive years of better than 20. And they may win 30 or more this year. Bruce Weber, a longtime assistant, 19 years to Gene Cady at Purdue. And he's got them headed for their second consecutive NC. Left-hander would not go for Josh Warren. Creighton given no second opportunities to Southern Illinois. That's where they won the ball game when they met about 10 days ago. Left-hander rattled in. Michael Linden. His club is emotionally tired. They've had that huge target on their chest for uh, 32 ball games. Now, it's, it's the first time for us to go through a season like this where every game is magnified. The three losses in conference all resulted in the crowd rushing the floor. And he said, we are a tired ball club right now from that kind of pressure. Left hander, one, no, pull for the rebound. Straight ahead, bounce pass, what a pass! They lead by 10. Timeout, Southern Illinois. People back in Omaha are hugging folks they don't even know right now. They're so happy with their start, huh? Creighton is not a club that gets a lot of baskets, Bob, outside of their offense. But they do get four or five a half out of transition. Those are an important four or five baskets for a club that doesn't have a lot of creativity. Their bigs like to get out and run right down the middle of the floor. A terrific pass and catch and basket for Nate Altman's squad. Here's Turner trailing the play. And the Salukis just can't hit a shot. Good transition. Nine's going to run by the ball. Kyle Cooper says, I'll just pick it up and dump it in there. And that's his first basket of the night. A lot of things have been sustained through his entire four years. That's one of them he's really improved. SIU turns it over. Cooper running. He's such a good passer. Now McKinney swings it. The right side for Nate Funk, who made some big plays yesterday in their semifinal win. Anthony Bob, what a great look for Grimes. Great exit. Kyle Corver out playing uh, sort of a point right now. Here's that pinch post that you have to defend. And they run a shooter off the high post. Nate Funk, a freshman out of Sioux City, Iowa. And Thank you, Chris Fowler. Thanks for keeping us up to date. Everything going on. Some bad-looking Elvis impersonators. In the house tonight, Jimmy, what does Bruce Weber tell his club in that huddle a moment ago when they can't hit a shot and they're down by 14 early? Well, I'd expect Jermaine Dearman to get a lot of touches here in the next two or three minutes, Bob. He's the guy that can at least get his club to the free throw strike. It's usually too quick for anybody one-on-one. -on -one in on Corver and trailing him everywhere he goes. Brooks has him right now. So it's huge when other guys hit shots. Second of the night for the bounce already. For the most part, one shot and time to play defense. And we are nearly halfway through the first half. Southern Illinois has four points. House penetrating and finishing. Larry House with a half dozen. 
Bruce Weber wants another timeout. He has a look of absolute bewilderment on his face over there. Bob, this is what I call the pinch post right there. That's the high post giving the handoff back to the guard. If you just fail a little bit to guard that correctly. Normally defenders aren't quick enough to catch that release of points. Lindemann for Bowden, good faith. And the mid-range jumper goes down. Warren to the right. And they run him right down the middle, Bob, so it puts a lot of pressure on you defensively. How are you going to guard this guy? You get on the right shoulder, the pass will come from the left. You get on his left shoulder, it'll come from the right. Under seven minutes to go. Jays by 17. Ryan's got it right back from McKinney. Little fade away. Lindemann, great rebound. At 6'6", 190, he could use a little... Be on your toes if you're the opposition because you've got to make sure you don't give up points because you have a mismatch just one time down. Dabbert. Reynolds it in. Joe Dabbert with a hit. Again, the pinch post. Spread that big high post guy out. Defense makes a mistake. Burn him. Dabbert. And the follow. D'Anthony Bowden right on the spot. 2.41 to go, first half. It's all crazy. Doing it on the boards, doing it on the break, and just playing together beautifully with some emotion so far. Thank you, Chris Fowler, here on Monday evening. Jimmy Dykes just came out of a Bruce Weber huddle. Jimmy, what's going on over there? I tell you what, the coach didn't talk about plays. He didn't talk about anything with this. He said, guys, we've come too far to have an effort like this. If you don't start playing with the effort that I know you can play with, win or lose, we're going to practice in the morning. This is not an acceptable effort out of you guys. He was awfully strong with him, Bob. Darren Brooks can't. The SIU nightmare continues. Here's McKinney for House. Well, he's got a quick trigger. And Larry House with a three. 40 to 14 break. And a steal. Double figures for him. Did Bruce Weber just call his fourth timeout of the first half? A lot of one-on-one -on -one by Southern Illinois in the half court. You've got a screen. You've got to get your teammate open. You can't come back going one-on-one. -on -one. German gets his pocket picked, and House just sends it home. Look at that right there. Just rip it and run. He's the most athletic guy House is on a pretty average athletic team. An important kid because of it. Play and their style of play is a headache. Just like Creighton's style of play is a headache. You're not going to have 10 or 12 game films and a couple of years worth of experience to defend Creighton in the NCAA tournament. That's what got him a win last year. You've got three or four days and two or three game films to break down. And they are not an easy club to break down. That was a full timeout because Bruce Weber was out of 30s. Now they've got 2.3 seconds to go. Try to get a basket and add to that 16% shooting step. No one could have projected this. I'm telling you what, these two clubs can play. Brad Korn barely nicking iron. And they use their final timeout. It goes for naught. Larry House leads the way for Creighton as eight Creighton players make it nine now score. And Chris Fowler, we are sitting, shaking our heads in St. Louis right now. Well, our star watch, and really it's two different stories. Corker Ford, helpful to Creighton. Williams Ford, not so to SIU. Yeah, with seven rebounds of Corker, we saw him make a cut off. How pretty was that? Lindemann in the back cut, and then he's got Brody Darren, the trailer, right down the lane. Wow. Down to Dearman. They need a lot more of that, but he can't finish. Jermaine had a good look. Jermaine Dearman now. Down to the floor. Two for eight tonight. And then Lindemann.
him and slips loose down low. Garrett setting a pick. Looking for House. Three ball. And it's going to be impossible for SIU if Creighton keeps it. Talks a lot about Tyler McKinney for Creighton, starting point guard. They are 45 and 8 with him as a starter. Cody Darren, yes, and a foul. Warren the trailer. Shovels. Out of the hands of Josh Warren. Straight ahead. And that is the end of the bottom for the transition hoop. They're not afraid to pitch it ahead, are they? Passer, that thing's not in, it doesn't get stuck at all. Oh, great oh, wow. pass. They found Larry House and they the loose ball. House on top corner. Four defenders. One of them went over first row. And the basket as Blake shown when tumbling over the Creighton radio crew. 42-16. Corver is so much more than just a three-point shooter. The average is about three or four and makes his days enough there, but shoots you up as a passer. He's a terrific defender. When they go to their 2-2-1 press, he actually triggers that thing. Great trap guy. Look at that pass. And it's rolled in by Mike Grimes. He plays the game by one pass ahead of everybody come Sunday. We've already seen a little renegging on the 500 in your conference section. Kyle Corver with a three, picking his spots beautifully. And for Kyle, only what a pick. Blake Schoen ran into him and went down like he'd been punched. Kyle Corver after the... Yeah, they can utilize the guy in the backcourt to help free up the ball handler. Boom! Right there. I mean, that's a shot. And that's a legal screen. Corver didn't move. He didn't lean in. Schoen just ran. Bam, 42-16. Creighton shoots right at 50% from the field as a team anyways, and the reason why, you don't see very many bad shots out of these guys over the course of the year. Uh, what a great feed. House to Grimes, and a foul. Double figures for Mike Grimes. Tried to play with the kids. Nothing worked. He's got three daughters. They couldn't even distract him. All he could think about was, are we in? Are we in? Championship week presented by 7-Up. They're emptying the bench. Kyle Corver goes hopping over to shake hands with his coach. High fives for his teammates. Sports Center next. You'll see some great highlights during that time, I'm sure. 78 54 Blue Jays. 90 seconds to go. And a shot missed by David Carney. A little used senior who just checked in. That ball deflected. Straight ahead, D. Anthony Bowman. is about to win their 29th game of the year. A we just witnessed an old-fashioned rear kicking. With an exclamation point, it's Creighton winning the Missouri Valley Tournament and their fifth consecutive NCAA. version of what we see time after time in championship week. Dana Altman's great Blue Jays win at 80-56. to the NCAA, we think SIU is as well. Good night from the Valley of St. Louis.